sure. Warm ups. <laughs> Warm ups. <laughs> Bumblebee, he bumblebee, he bumblebee. <laughs> but now, now we're good. I think, I think we're perfect. Excellent. I want to be around the 30, 30 dBm. Yeah. yeah. Dibbin. Dibbins. Well, right. Hi. Oh, Welcome well. to the show, everybody. Hi. This is Happy Earth Market Podcast. I'm Sam. Podcast. <laughs> I'm Nathan. I'm Jr. <laughs> I'm Sadie. <laughs> Yeah, and this is an update show, and we're ready to update you on everything Happy Earth Market, because fuck a lot's going on. Yeah. It's been quite busy. I don't even know when the last show was that we put up to you. The last like update two show? Mm-hmm. Uh, the two l- months? <laughs> the last update <laughs> show was the Lurker show. Oh, that was a minute ago. That so was yeah. a minute ago. Well, hey, yeah, I, you like guys talk months. for a second, and so I will tell you when it was. Talking. So we've, um, yeah. we've managed to get the space cleaned up. Mm-hmm. We looks amazing. We painted 900 the Karen. space. We've had a lot of people donate things to mm-hmm. the space from, yeah. um, from guitars to art to time, doors. time mm-hmm. to doors to uh, uh, clothes art. racks to clothes mm-hmm. to paint to books paint coloring books mm-hmm. um, floor mats um, chairs chairs um, cushions mirrors mirrors um, what else oh we got the the game a pew a we pew. A pew. We got amazing pew. We get compliments yeah, on that pew. pew every day. It's such yeah. a com- where did you guys get a pew? Like we everyone's like, yeah, yeah. It's it's incredible. We also got a dragon. Mm-hmm. We got a dragon. <laughs> a, 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 we got a bearded, bearded dragon. Bearded dragon's name is Bobby with it's B O B dash I. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, where is the dragon, where is Bobby? Oh, he's over there. He's, <laughs> he's got her cape on. <laughs> yeah. She flew over to she the kitchen. Super, Super Bobby. <laughs> yeah, our Bobby stumps. So our dragon has a cape. An orange cape with a Happy Earth Market logo on the back. Mm-hmm. Handmade by Sam. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great cape too, baby. Awesome. It's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not not too tight on her. Fits mm-hmm. her well. Fits her good. Yeah, she's not choking the dragon no. out. Get this fucking cape off. Although she hasn't walked around with it on yet, so I don't know how yeah, we'll, see well how it's gonna work. We don't know if it's functional yet. <laughs> it's cute. It looks cute. It's ridiculous. <laughs> functional. Yeah. Um. No, but a lot of a lot of donations. I I just want to say thank you to anybody listening that that's given. Mm-hmm to the space because holy crap is it humbling and awesome and inspiring and beautiful and you guys are making Happy Earth Market yours and I couldn't be more happy yeah. that you all are validating this space. I'm I'm eternally grateful that that it's being used on the daily and people are coming in here every single day. Yes. to receive healing or to give healing or yes. to create art or to whatever fulfills them and and it's just been it's been humbling and exciting and do you um, wanna i'm happy that i wake up every day do you want to drop names no okay i get a list oh well then drop them i <laughs> mean if you want to drop names yeah <laughs> we're just doing first names yeah mike i don't want to miss anybody M- I, i'm pretty sure <laughs> i got most everybody mike damien uh dad michelle vita nikki Vinny, thayer the, the tribe Nikki and Sa- Nick and Sadie's parents, mm-hmm. Jr.'s mom, Alex, Dennis, Chad and Fam, um, Lynn and Bob, uh, Mo, Bronco and Carrie, uh, Harris Insurance. I don't know. Write that. Write that down. Uh, jo- <laughs> jo- Josephine, <laughs> Austin, Felix, uh, and Chrissy is the names I have. We have Leo. Mm-hmm. And I've thought of a couple more. Uh, we have Randall. Randall. Yeah, Randall's mopping the floor every. Saturday. Um, there's so many. There's so, so many. many people the list just goes on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me want to cry. Because you guys all know me. Who know me? No, I can't remember your name. Because <laughs> that's who I am. I smoke a lot of weed. You guys know that. And I just got a lot on my plate and I suck with names. But anyway, um, <laughs> you know you know who you are and I love you. And the community is is going to receive the gift and already has received the gift that you've donated and will continue to, you know, uh, be able to use it to continue their fulfillments. So, um, yeah, thank you for blessing this space, everyone that has come into the space and been here and fallen in love with the space. Yeah, you know, (laughs) what you were talking about last night, which really I hadn't 
felt and tor- but people just leaving or being here I'm like thank you so much for having the space and I'm humbled by that but it's just it's just I never thought that anybody would care that we had it like I don't know I never thought it would work out as well as it's working out and the participation we're getting from the community is just overwhelming mm-hmm. it's beautiful it's it's um yeah you guys yeah. love each other it's it's yeah. fucking cool it's validating the whole point you know that we are here for each other and we mm-hmm. do care about each other and you know when people come in here they go wow you know this is a neat space i can feel it i want to contribute i want to yeah. help i want to be here you know i feel good here so well, it's really neat we have kids and adults crying when they have to leave yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Like literally. Kids crying. holding on to their dads like, like no, pulling back. I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's been a um it's been really interesting too. It's something I s- observed and I notice now every day is that somebody inside Happier's Market cries every day. Who cried today? That was me. Oh, well there you go. <laughs> yeah, that was me today. But Well, you know um, what? Let's talk about that cry because you know what you said some very clear intentions with that sign on the door that said that you didn't want alcohol or illegal drugs in the in the space because of the vibe that it causes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I disrespected that a little bit and said, let's let's grab some beers for the podcast. But let, explain why you don't want the beer, in, beer here. And I know why. I just want, you know, the listeners to hear why. Well, so, you know, drugs and alcohol of any kind um, has caused suffering to a lot of people and still causes suffering to a lot of people and happier's market is a sanctuary it's supposed to be a healing space it's a space to come feel safe Mm -hmm. you know and if you come here to enjoy an open mic for example yeah i want you to feel safe here and i don't want you to be bombarded by somebody sitting next to you who's drunk out of their ass because it reminds you of your dad who used to abuse you or whatever or just being drunk and annoying and so you know it's it's just it's just one of those rules I would wish people could respect and will respect for the sake of others. Yeah. And I don't want the energy in our space either because it's super, 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 super clean and light. And mm-hmm. I clean it four or five times, six <laughs> times, depends on who comes in during the day. Sometimes I have to really clean the space and yeah. get the dark energy out. And, you know, um, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of work. It takes time and I my time is valuable here so on top of that i know that <laughs> sounds really weird and no 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 it all makes sense slightly but Not i even. mean um you know i i do take it seriously i take the energy in our space very seriously i've been working very hard on this energy and that's why people can feel mm-hmm. it and i don't want you know the dark energy to come in here unnecessarily or i mean I, people people can be really cool drunks and then that one second they're different they're different they're fighting yeah. you know just just uh, you're right. Alcohol isn't the vibe we want in here. And it's just you know the reminder because you know some you, a lot of us carry our own demons and those demons get triggered by smells. And so if somebody's totally. sitting next to you that smells like alcohol, it could trigger a memory that you don't want to deal with right now because you just mm-hmm. want to sit here and enjoy the music. Yeah. You know. Or the meditation. So, or yeah, whatever, or yeah. whatever it yeah. is. So you know, I just. I would I would prefer that you know it just stays out of the space. I agree. All together. Yeah. No, that was my bad. I it just has a lapse of memory, so. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I mean, that happened, but <laughs> but back to the crying every day in the space. It's been um, it's been moving, very moving for me, and I don't know how to interpret it really. So people are crying like at, at your hugs. Yeah. Like, to, like how does that feel? Like like <laughs> like. How does that, like, I've never made somebody cry from a hug unless I just squeeze them too tight and they're a little kid and they started choking. It's hard to explain. Different cry <laughs> altogether. Yeah, that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go! I just want to bear hug your cute little ass. Like, a different cry altogether. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lack of oxygen is not how I go about doing the tears come out. I don't know. It, it feels, for me, it feels different with every person because every person is crying for a different reason. And I can feel what the cry is, is about. So, you know. Um, yeah. I don't really want to talk about the hug healings. <laughs> <laughs> they're sacred, right? So they're, they are sacred. they're personal. So they that, that very, makes sense. You wouldn't want to talk personal, about it. Very personal. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm, I'm just happy that the space provides that kind of comfort level for people to be mm-hmm. able to come here and just accidentally purge. They don't even intend to come here to do that. Yeah. They come here to check it out, you know, and, 
all of a sudden some kind of truth happens inside of them and they verbalize it or I verbalize it to them and then before you know it they're just crying and feeling better yeah you know and it's it's fucking cool it's fucking cool the space has a great energy <laughs> I mean I can't believe it I mean to go from a chemical cleaners to mm-hmm. this amazing energy mm-hmm. you know what I mean and then when you first started painting the walls I was like I don't know but now like I'll tell you what the pictures are worth the paint. Does that make sense? Like the pictures that we're getting on Facebook and Instagram and all those places, just the backdrop with the, with the colors on the wall, just make them pop. Like, yeah, we've actually had yep. a couple of photographers wanting to do photo Fo- sessions yeah, photo here sessions with here. people. Like they want to have people come mm-hmm. here so they can take mm-hmm. pictures of them as part of their photo package, which is pretty flattering. I yeah. think oh, I, yeah, it's amazing. It's just a lot of weird things all over the place. Mm-hmm. What's so funny? The dragon's moving. Uh oh. Don't move too far, Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> is her cape moving okay? Is she choking? No, I think she took the cape off. No. Well, that's her decision, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you do you, boo. <laughs> she doesn't like orange. No. I knew she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I but, don't like orange. But also, like the uh, video that Jody, Josephine, mm-hmm. b- uh, built here, like the colors just made this place look so amazing in that video. Just mm-hmm. the, the backdrop, every single backdrop was good because of the colors that mm-hmm. that, that yeah. we that we didn't chose. I mean, most most of this paint was donated, yeah. so the colors chose the space. We didn't choose the colors; they just got put on based on how much paint we had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, but it's cool. I yeah. mean, a, co- a couple of the bright colors we bought, but you know, most of it most of it's mixed. You know, like a couple of colors are just mixed with what we had left. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, well, let's throw these together. Hope it doesn't make gray. Like. <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool too. It's pretty. So, yeah, um, people are coming to the space though. It's been great mm-hmm. since the soft opening. I don't know if that's what we were talking about last time. It feels like maybe we were trying to promote the soft opening. We were trying to let's time. talk yeah. about the soft opening. How amazing it was though, right? Yeah, wow. like <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> like, yeah, it was great. Like the sign fell during the drum circle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of people. You know, was, I don't know nobody but me and Sam have ever got married here sitting at the table but at your wedding you expect to be able to kick back with people you haven't seen in a long time and have a talk with them or something like that um you ever seen like also like warp speed in star wars like that's what your wedding goes by like and that's what the the event went by like for me because there were so many people it was like a reunion for you know people come hey 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 i had no time to think it was just <laughs> okay it's over and now we're having pizza sitting down talking like it, it was so right. fast and there were so many people i really had expected a few of my family members, a couple guys from the chapter, and the guys from the tribe, and that's all I expected. I didn't expect the overwhelming support we got from not just Sam and I's family, but your guys' family, and 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 you know everybody. Just yeah. fucking Jennifer showed up, and mm-hmm. it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, random strangers. Ran- like, random yeah. strangers showed up. Even mm-hmm. that was. Really yeah, it was so like, fucking nuts. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, it was it was funny because they were actually <clears throat> having a an event that kind of met up with our event. That's why we had it that day. Yeah. yeah. And people were like, oh, where people were asking other people, like, what, where are you, what mm. are you here for? Yeah. And nine out of ten said, for Happy Earth Market. <laughs> yeah, the Happy Earth Market. <laughs> so yep. it's kind of amazing that most of the people here at the, that attended the event mm-hmm. was for us, not, mm-hmm. not the little event and that they had out there. There was several, little huge which event. was actually bigger than our event. Yeah. It was supposed really? to be bigger than our yeah. event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, whoa, what? Yeah. We love you, Paula. <laughs> we do love you, Paula. And you know what? Next year is going to be amazing. We're going to do mm-hmm. great things with her. Yes. Cause is that an annual thing? Yeah, that's going to be an oh, annual dope. thing. So you know, by the by next year this time, there's going to be art structures out yeah. in the parking mm-hmm. lot. The sidewalks should be full by then. Mm-hmm. We're going to have murals mm-hmm. all over the buildings. So yes. I mean. The whole square is going to change, and it'll be a completely different looking place by this time next year. Yeah. You know, as long as we continue to work at the goal that we're trying to work on. So, right. Um, yeah, we got to push towards it, man. Yeah. You know, just keep doing it. You know, and it's, it's cool. Like, we made an actual couple genuine sales this yeah. week. Like, we sold a piece of uh, the American Indian jewelry, mm-hmm. and we sold uh, one necklace that was out there. We sold it yesterday. And the guy posted on Facebook, which just amazed me. He said, I think this piece found me. So, like, how humbling is that that we have a store that that somebody said this piece found me? I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to self-congratulate or anything, but 
you know, all of us has worked on this for so long that just a little validation is kind of nice. Yeah. Shout out to Tony. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Tony. <laughs> yeah. And I'm excited to have Tony's art in here. Like, he's, yeah. he was so bashful about it last night, too. Yeah. He's at the open mic, and the open mic was dope, and he was just such he's kind of shy guy. Yeah, I've been meaning to get him out here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he's a very talented artist. I've yeah. I've known him for since high school. So okay. And he does, he does the spray paint art. He does spray paint art. He does um, markers. He does paint. He does graffiti. Stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but he does this really cool space. Yeah, he has. He um <coughs> he started off doing characters. Okay. And, um, of course, graffiti on walls. <laughs> <laughs> Where we all started. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, from there, just evolved into mm -hmm. graphic arts, and then you know started doing more painting, painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evolved yeah. from there. It was really it's nice cool. for him to come support. I yeah. and speaking <coughs> of other people buying, I, you guys know I put my paintings up on the wall just to kind of sell the spaces to yeah. show people like this is what you get for your this fifty dollar membership yes. of an artist membership. Yep. Well, s Joe came into the space and thanks, Joe. Yeah, he came in and first he picked out the one painting with the trees at the top that looked pregnant, um, and then he changed his mind out in the parking lot. Came back in and he bought the other one and the other one was actually more expensive it was a hundred dollars and i put it up there at a hundred dollars yeah. <laughs> thinking there's no way anybody's gonna actually buy this i mean it's <laughs> right just to yeah show people just to show that, people they can sell it and i definitely if something does sell on accident i don't want this right. one to get sold <laughs> 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 and that's the one he bought and, and and i was blown away and i was going oh my gosh like this is a reality if i can sell mm -hmm. I can sell, you know, 12 of these. I can pay for our rent every month. Yeah, exactly. And that hit me in the face like a, a real entrepreneurship reality. <laughs> hit me. Yeah, like I didn't realize yeah. it was there, you know, and I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. So, you know, that was fun. And, Joe, thank you so much, love, for the support because you also donated 20 bucks to yeah. the rent jar. And Fuck yeah. you're amazing, dude. Yep. And the the super cool thing about the soft opening was that every single founder got a gig that day. That's right. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Like everybody got like Nick and Sadie got a uh, website and uh, promotion deal. We got a JR and I got a deal to do a record, which is going to happen after I don't know when school gets out because, but when when college gets out, but at, we're going to do it over <laughs> the winter break, and then we're actually recording an album like I think in two weeks in, two weeks. in here. Mm -hmm. So, and then That's you know, exciting. You know, Sam sold some membership. So. Yeah, yeah, we got uh, three paid memberships. Three currently, or that's that's what currently, we got that day. Right yeah. now, three, that we have three paid three memberships. Paid memberships so. Yeah, you know, we that's need awesome. we need forty seven more people. Come on Come out, in, please. <laughs> 40, so we need fifty to cover the yeah. rent and the utilities and mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, it's not a lot, and we have sixty. Four hour slots available for yeah. the S membership, which means you guys can come in here and use the space. Um, yeah. It's on a shared calendar, you know, L like Mondays, for example, Vegas Tribe has, um, yeah, they're doing meditation with gong and didgeridoo <sighs> every Amazing. Monday night. I finally got to do one this week. Oh, wow. I sat in the egg chair mm -hmm. over there because I did what you did on the meditation. So I watched the door behind the screen and then when it felt like it was done, yeah. I ca did you lock the door? Yeah. Okay. So I locked the door and I can kind of try to sneak, but you, you know what I mean? And I snuck and I, get, I sat in that chair, which is perfect for me for meditation because I can't, my back's so fucked. I can't sit, you know, like in meditation for very long, but that thing had the back support, man. It was so comfortable. I, I was in the way the ditch echoes in there. Oh, you was adding it too? It's like oh. an echo chamber, <laughs> man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. But, you know, I got a special place in my heart. And, and the didgeridoo literally changed my mind and everything I knew existed. So um, it's a special place in my mind, in my heart, for, for the tones that come through your body during mm -hmm. a didgeridoo meditation. Like, the, I, you know, there's two things when it comes to meditation you can't, for me, you can't deny. One is sound healing. You know, you can tell any of the other stuff, hubba jubba or whatever you want to call it. Um, but sound healing, and then when somebody's saging you. Like, I don't know, both things put me in such a, a state, and I just find it undeniable that those things are, are real and out of your control. You're just there. Right. Yeah. It's interesting with sage. I always I always giggle when people start having asthma attacks or coughing mm. around sage. Demons, get out! Yeah, that's all I think. I'm like, <laughs> get out oh, of them, demons. you're purging. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. you know, probably scientifically. Yeah. Scientifically, yeah. Uh, probably allergic. A asthma attack in air quotes. <laughs> asthma attack. But, <laughs> you know, maybe with continued use it would go away. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> 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 Can you suffer that much to go through with it? Maybe. I mean, I'm sure people are allergic to it because scent, sure. scent is the largest trigger of everything. Right. Totally. So... 
um, triggered. Uh, <laughs> but um, but you know, I'm glad I don't have that. Me too. You know, because Sage is such a calmer. You know, right. just like it, it, it does. It's just so great. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Well, so the didgeridoo. So anyway, so if that happens. Mm-hmm. Vegas tribe is doing that. Um, mm-hmm. Every Monday, so you guys check it out at seven o'clock yeah, every at Monday. night, yep. um, Monday night, and it's with Gong and Didgeridoo, and it is mm, yeah. amazing. It's a good way to 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 finish Just off your Monday and continue yeah. the week because you know Mondays suck. We all hate it, but mm-hmm. that um, yeah. yeah, Monday I really was wanting to pull my last three three hairs out when I got here, and I didn't settle down to that meditation until it was almost over, and I didn't think I was in in until it was over, and I was like. Oh, like trying to get up like oh okay i was like way in Mm -hmm. you know just i just had a lot of thoughts and sometimes when you're meditating you don't stop the thoughts you know what i mean like like you just let them roll like a train and i forget who said this you just kind of got to choose what train you want to jump on hopefully and hopefully it's a cool one right you know but not all not not all um trains how do i put this like some of the bad trains are good trains too like you need to go sure. you need to go do some self reflection and you know we've had some people in here go through some heavy heavy heaviness mm. at the meditations you know what i mean and 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 not only they went through some shit but the person facilitating the the meditation went through like wow i've never had that happen you know so there's mm. true healing happening in here on both sides you know right. It's just, I wasn't there for that. If you want to I- expand or, you know. No, because it was, it happened when it happened. Yeah. And the people it, that were there experienced, experienced it with it, sure. him. And, yeah. and it was. Um, but you were like, hey, like you felt like the whole room collectively mm-hmm. were, were focusing and their so. energy and helping him out and, you know, getting him through whatever darkness was in his head. You know what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. you know, the nice thing about memories is they can't hurt you. Right. You know, so you just get to sit there and, and but they suck. You know, yeah, they yeah. suck, especially when they come in a wave or whatever he was going through. I don't know. I'm assuming it was a shit memory he didn't want to go through, but, he, you know, he went through it and he'll be back. Yeah. You know, and he met up with one of the facilitators a couple of days later and had a true moment. So mm-hmm. super dope things are happening. Yeah. You know. I love the collaboration that's happening mm-hmm. here. Oh, absolutely. Like last night at, op- at Open Mic. Open Mic every Friday. Fact, there was, a, yeah, Open Mic every Friday. <laughs> every Friday, every Friday. Come to Open Mic. From here until we have no here. Yeah. yeah, we need 50 members, so keep mm. that going too, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but it was really neat last night, though, is we had two different people performing on stage, and the one was like, oh, dude, you're really good. I got a studio at my house. You want to come record and, mm-hmm. and lay some tracks down with me? And he's like, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, and they were all that. stoked, and the dude's like, man, and they, they were, were really, strangers. really excited They to were collaborate. strangers last night, but yeah. that happened. They swapped numbers, and mm-hmm. now they're going to go make music at the mm-hmm. dude's house. Yeah. You know, and that's, awesome. yeah. Wow. Yeah. T- that's amazing. That's great. And yeah. Yeah. It's so, that's exactly what we want. We want the community to form. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So. Because we're all one family. Yeah, super dope. And things I never thought would happen. Like, we're, we have a chef that's going to teach a class in here on how to cut your food properly, which I was like, that's silly. But you know what? It's, it's not, not silly. Mm-mm. It makes total sense. People are really excited about yeah, that. That's going to be on a Tuesday. <clears throat> that's Tuesday at 1130 yeah. to 1. When mm-hmm. this comes out? This coming Tuesday. Yeah, this coming. Yeah. This coming Tuesday. No, I know. Well, it'll be tomorrow, no, I guess, if this yeah. goes up on Monday. I, I am a, uh, I have reached a place where I'm okay with not editing. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. To Brave. where bravery. No, I Raw mean it's it, it, it's a conversation <laughs> that we had. The only thing I'm doing is going through and making sure it sounds okay, mm-hmm. fixing the level, maybe adding some music at the end and an ending. But this is a conversation that we had, and that's why like, people listen to podcasts, like right. Sadie said, and a couple other people have said. People listen to podcasts because they want to hear a raw conversation yeah. they don't need me cutting out things i don't like because right. maybe they liked it and i think we're also at a point where we're not stepping on each other all the time anymore during the podcast and especially me i'm the worst like you'll start talking <laughs> i'll jump right over you and start talking about a point i care about so i just feel like we're at a place where we're not doing that so it's okay to throw it up unedited yeah, yeah. cool cool yeah so anyway back to tuesday <laughs> tuesday chef sweeney Interactive Kitchen. He's yes. gonna he's gonna be hosting something every week. Every week, a series. A yeah. series. So and it's gonna be repetitive. Mm-hmm. So every month it'll be the same thing. But the first one he's doing, and he's brand new. He's working the job. He yeah. still has a job. Still chefing it up. He hates it, mm-hmm. but you know he's trying to figure out a way to to create his own entrepreneurship. Yeah. So we're gonna help him. So Interactive Kitchen is the series we're calling it, and this Tuesday at 11.30 is Slicing and Dicing. So you got to bring your own 
uh, bring your own knife and bring that pesky fruit or vegetable that you just need help cutting. Mm -hmm. You want to know if there's a trick or secret to cutting it open, bring that in as as well as your knife. And he'll show you how to open it or cut it. And there will be... No, he's got the cutting board. Oh, okay. There will be a liability waiver. Yeah, of course. Because if you cut yourself... Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. That's on you. (laughs) Sorry. It was your knife. It's like nobody else will hold a knife. You cut yourself. We didn't even provide the knife. (laughs) It's not like we gave you hot coffee you spilled on. You brought the knife. You brought the food. Like, this is all on you. Yeah. (laughs) Well, you know what you're getting at. That reminds me, too. I still have to buy first aid kit. (laughs) (laughs) We should have one here anyways. Well, yeah. I think we're supposed to by law. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We're not Who's law, yet. man? Fucking law. Who's Fuck law, man? man. Yeah. It ain't my law. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we have a. We, we, we're just kidding. We have a first aid kit. Yeah. We have a ton of shirts. <laughs> you can just use as target kits. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. just a paper cut. No, we have a target kit. And we still like going on things we're doing is a cra- if you want to come craft a gift before the holidays, stop by any time. Yeah, we're calling it the Create a Gift, mm-hmm. and I'm here Tuesday through Saturday at noon mm-hmm. till four ish. Ish. That means depends that, on what's going on. Yeah, it could be something happening afterward. Could be earlier be if later. nothing's going on. True that too. Mm-hmm. If there's an event like the Tuesday Interactive <laughs> Kitchen, that's at 11:30, so clearly I'll be here before 12. But <laughs> you know, um, so that happens every day. Also, every day, we have uh, adult coloring meditation mm-hmm. that I'm putting on for people. Yeah. Um, Way good positive positive feedback today yeah. too. So this 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 idea started with with mom and anybody who's come to this space you've probably met mom and her dog Tebow. She she's you know she's been here and anyway she has been doing coloring and because she's got onset dementia it's really been helping her out um, emotionally. Mm-hmm. So I can see a difference. Yeah, me too. Such me a too. sweetheart when she's coloring. Yeah, and my brother, who she lives with right now, is you know he's seeing the positives in it. So there's wow. something to it, and I didn't even realize what we were doing. You know, so this well, is if something. If it works, it works, man. Yeah, so it's something really cool. Anyway, so she's you know she's been in here pretty much every day, coloring this beautiful mandala, which is now hanging on the ceiling. On the ceiling. Today we had a couple <coughs> of women come in. Um, yep. A mom and daughter, and, and no, t- the two mom, daughter, and two daughters. Two daughters, <laughs> which are also granddaughters. A whole generation. Yeah, mm-hmm. three generations mm-hmm. of family here, and um, they had fun coloring together, Mandela's together, yeah. meditating a little bit. The daughters were on stage. It was fun. We set singing. the mics up, let them let them carry it, it up. <laughs> it was cute. It was a lot of fun, but yeah. um, they really enjoyed it, and they're gonna come back and finish their Mandela's because they're mm-hmm. still here, and that's the whole point is to you know. Have so a space to come and color your color, your page, and have you yeah, know have some ar- peace and quiet time for If an artist wants a ceiling tile space, we'll rent it to them. Mm-hmm. But until they do, let's fill it up with Mandela okay. so they know that they can use it. Yeah. You know, I, like no, if you walked in here, nothing was hanging on the walls. How much of an explanation would you need? But since you're coming in here and there's stuff hanging, oh, I get what you're doing. Yeah. That makes sense. It's making sense. It's yeah. starting to make sense. It's too. starting to make sense. Yeah. It's starting to come together. I mean, the store is really looking super cool, man. You got the stage in the corner. The stage turned out so good. We got, <laughs> you know, that, I mean, it's just looking cool, you know. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. It's cool. It's it's such a cool space. As a matter of fact, our friend Oral over at Handcrafted. Yeah. I swear to God, that dude's in here more than he is in his own store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He spent the whole, his store's open all day. He spent the whole day kicking it with us. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was funny, the other day he came in, he had his son in here, and we were just chatting. I was working and stuff, and organizing the, the craft area, and mm-hmm. his kids making a mess, having fun, and, and we're just chatting it up about the 30th, because he's, we're, yeah, yeah the we'll 30th. get into that, we'll yeah, get yeah, into yeah. that. Hold on. So, the 30th is going to be a large conversation, man. As he's here, mm-hmm. <laughs> he gets a phone call, hey man, where you at? I'm at your store. <laughs> he's like, oh shit, man, I'll be there in a minute. Some yeah. bitch. <laughs> so he had to, you know, leave, yeah. and his kid's mess was all here, me and mom had to clean he's it up, gonna be it was <laughs> fine, it was awesome, he's like, <laughs> he is the cr- <laughs> partner in crime I never knew I wanted. Like that dude is so motivated, motivated. and mm-hmm. he's like, let's do this. Let's do that. I'm down to do, like, he is, cause he needs to make this business center work too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we're like, fuck it. it you know, there, there's no, right. There's not a lot of foot traffic here right now, but that doesn't mean like we can't build it. Right. You know? right. We'll just make it happen. Yep. You know, if, if you build it and come. make things awesome to do there, people will come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't imagine doing a store like this before social media. Okay, the door's well, open. So hard. I guess the flyer. I guess you could you go could like uh, it, old yeah. school, like Happy Earth Market cardboard signs everywhere. Yeah. I, I don't know what else you could yeah. do. Yeah. 
like Hemlock did. Like yeah, that's what I always. That's <laughs> that was before my time. I have I don't even know how to. You know what imagine. though? You you missed you out. Awesome. Yeah. You missed out on one thing. Awesome. Is that you awesome used to have to go to the record store, <laughs> to a r- fucking record store to find out what bands were playing. Yep. To, you know what I mean? Yeah. And what, what was cool, there was always a cork board at every record store that's just full of flyers. You know what I mean? And that's where you found the underground. And that's the underground still exists, but not in that way. That was before right. Craigslist. Yeah, yeah. You, also, yeah. It also, was before the internet. Yeah, before also, the internet. you had to go to the grocery store to yeah. buy your Ticketmaster ticket for a concert. Oh, is that where you guys got yours? That's where we yeah, had to buy ours. Ours was at, the, the, uh, ours the, at the record ours store. Ours at a record store. Yeah. I never got mine at a grocery, grocery store. Grocery store sold yeah. them, too. Ticketmaster booth. And you had to show up and wait in line, and based on where you're at in line, you got a wristband with a number, and then they start. This is the crazy thing. Like you got in line, you had a wristband with a number, and you, just, and then they call mm-hmm. a number, and that's where the line starts. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's where the line starts. So it's a lottery where whether you're ever getting tickets or not. Now I never not got tickets, but there was a possibility. Right. Yeah. That's wow. Yeah. The good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting in line, dude. In line. Fucking smoking joints, yeah. talking shit. Oh, we're gonna People. see Buck Pearl Jam. <laughs> just blazing down. <laughs> it. It, was, it was so great, man. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Those were the days. Yeah. Um, let me go through some of our other events. Uh, the other thing we have going on Tuesday, Mary Lou with Vegas Tribe is putting on Yoga 101. Yoga 101. So if you've ever been curious or timid. about yoga, timid, mm-hmm. um, this is going to be super, super basic, basic, basic yoga. Anyone can do it and join. Mm-hmm. That starts at 7 p.m. Is that every Tuesday or just this coming Tuesday? It's just this Tuesday. We'll see yeah, how it goes. It might be a recurring sometime, but... Yep. Um, so yeah, it's, so seven to eight thirty. Mm-hmm. Wednesdays, I am hosting in the space um, a do-it-yourself laundry detergent class. And you had people here this week. I did. That was so rad. Yeah. I did, did two people showed up and took the class, and we had some people uh, requesting to see it on Facebook Live. I don't know how we're going to monetize on that, but yeah, well, I if you don't, don't want, we you're can. shaking your head. No, what's your disagreement yeah, on that for? I agree with you guys. <laughs> I think if you hey, want hold a on, class let this guy in. pay at the door. <laughs> oh, his phone charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we stream it live, nobody's going to come. We snack. were just talking about that. Yeah. Because of the internet, nobody has to do face-to-face marketing or whatever. Right. And that if we give it away the on the point. internet, it's not a class. It's a yeah. super point. Yeah. They yeah. can look it up on YouTube if they want that. <laughs> which goes, which also goes to like open mic then. Should we really be streaming that? I think that's different. That's not a class. Because open mic is open mic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. open mic isn't a class. Yeah. I mean... No. Plus, if we don't put open mic on there, people won't know what's cool. Like, like, <laughs> like right. you know, I think that, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Oops, know Sorry either. for kicking the table, guys. Uh, well, anyway, so one day, on Wednesdays, that's what I'm doing is, is the do-it-yourself laundry soap. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 10 bucks, but you, you get basically about six months worth of laundry soap, and you get the knowledge of how to do it yourself. So yeah. Um, so and you go home with laundry soap. That starts at 3 o'clock this week. Next week, it goes back to 1 o'clock. I just made... A couple changes for some people. Made some adjustments for people who wanted to come, and they came. Now, that I thought was really cool. Like, hey, yes, I'll adjust this time for you. And they showed up. Yep. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you'll do that in an event for a person, and then they mm-hmm. and they flake on you. Like, man, I, you, man, I did this mm-hmm. for you, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thursday, Chloe's Fairy Cottage is putting on a make and take. Now she hasn't put up her, her event yet, so mm-hmm. that's why I'm blasting it publicly right now on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, get, on it, get on it, Miss Nikki. Get on it, Miss Nikki. Because we're promoting it now, sister. Make and take. So that's like so make a make a present? I'm not or sure what exactly it entails. Make your own hair Chloe's tie. But it's Chloe's Fairy Cottage, and it's got to be fun if it's Chloe's Fairy Cottage. So I, I mean, don't know. even the name is fun. Make so. and take, yeah. So <laughs> that starts at 5.30. It's going to go till 7.30. Mm-hmm. Um, I assume it's going to be kid-friendly something or other. So there's It'd that. It'd be fun. hilarious if it wasn't. Chloe's Fairy Cottage Make and take your own toy I won't You guys know what kind of toy I mean (laughs) Oh that's fine (laughs) Wink a wink toys Um, The other thing is Obviously Friday is our Open mics Um, 6.30 to 8 Is our kid friendly time Mm -hmm. So kids are welcome to come up on stage And do their thing Whatever that is And at 9 till we're done and then, well, at eight till nine, yeah. specifically, oh, we sorry, have sorry. spoken word because because Respect. We're, we're courteous, mm-hmm. we're courteous neighbors, we're good neighbors. And upstairs, we have GA going on, yeah, and a little we gamblers anonymous, and we don't want to disrupt them with our 
whatever we're doing in open mic. Dude, so let's talk about if, that for a if second. If we just if we just have people talking and <laughs> yeah. spoken word, then it keeps it down to a level where it's not interrupting their meeting. We had a full <laughs> drum set and three other drums and didgeridoos <laughs> and. It, during the, I mean, it was so loud. It, it, they're drums. There's no, sl- yeah. and I kept, hey, and I asked them, hey, can you guys quiet it down? And they did. But man, they were getting such a vibe that it just kept crescendoing or elevating yeah. and <laughs> elevating and elevating. And I'm like, at some point, I'm like, we're doing it. <laughs> Forget it. Like I don't even care. Go for it. it we're, nice. you know what I mean. We're already late. Might as well we'll stay out later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. Um. But yeah, so that's eight to nine is spoken word, mm-hmm. and then at nine o'clock it's anything goes. Anything. And so it, this this last night anything, anything goes. Anything did go. Yeah, it was, it was so great. We had we had comedians. Three of them. They were fantastic. They so were so funny. So great. Dude, and that guy's bit about every. I look so racist. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> but I can't. I'm not. I'm not gonna ruin the guy's bit. But his bit about Mexicans and Irish. Getting We're together, it, well, dude. I'm like, it's so funny. I never oh. thought of that. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. Number one, like Perfect no reason. Couple. Yeah, I've always got along with Mexicans. And number two, <laughs> yeah, wow. He, he connected the dots. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. I wanted to hug him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. But he looked too racist, so he just stayed away. No, <laughs> no, no, the Mexican no, guy. The, oh, the Mexican guy. Gabriel. Yeah, yeah Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah, yeah. I, and and Gabriel of the and, and of the three, all of them had great bits. Of the three, Gabriel's was the most refined. You know what I mean? He's done those a lot. He's got them. Yeah. He's got them in a place where he knows where the punchlines are. The other two are there. Mm-hmm. Um, they just they just need a little work on their timing and delivery. Yeah, I think you need to start practicing as well, Mr. I've got some judgmental bits. I've got of some other comics hey, hey. who hey, hasn't been on stage <laughs> since what? Hey, man. Wow, she looked good. You see your shoes? Mm. They're all glittery. Is that a dude? Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's the it dude. Was a dude. So She's a girl now. I'm not gonna say what happened after this. Ask me what happened with that person last night. So, yeah. We're going to forget. Um, <laughs> 30 is your imagination. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so the open mics are amazing. You guys yeah. got to come out. They're just going to get better. Fun. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. They're Good just going to get greater. And I'm going gonna, gonna to start audio recording them, too. Yeah. You know, so I can have them and, and like, put them in things like this. Yeah. That'd yeah. be cool, yeah. yeah, yeah we're gonna now, uh, now that you have that amazing mic, there's no reason not to use it. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, we get straight audio record mm-hmm. with that one mic. You know, just, just sit it there on a boom. When It'll be our boom stick. What? Need two. Dose for two. what? Because one, you got to put it on the X Y axis, so you can catch the entire room. M- math. <laughs> <laughs> no, that math. makes that makes total sense. <laughs> That's geometry. <laughs> is it geometry math too? Yes. Or is it math sure. three? <laughs> 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 math joke. <laughs> Thirtieth. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Fucking talk about the thirtieth. Run that door. Yeah, I mean, you really should do it in like announcer voice right now. Somebody get an echo in the mic and we'll be like this. Let Jared do it. Yeah. Make it happen. Uh oh. Oh, you already got it. Let's hear it, baby. No. Why do you have to do that? Maybe you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming December 30th, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. December 30th. Mark your calendars. It's Happy Earth Market's grand beginning. Yeah, the grand beginning. Costume party. Costume party. And? Hey, hey dude, I just talk about costume party for a second. Like, I was just randomly saying after the meditation, yeah, I think I'm going to cancel the costume thing, and somebody came unglued. <laughs> Literally. You can't I've already cancel. picked it out! <laughs> she was upset. She was really upset. You can't cancel that. I already have my outfit picked <laughs> out. Okay, I guess that's a real thing. People oh, are coming people just are so coming they can costume. wear a costume. <laughs> Got it. Because yeah. we've made an excuse for people to wear a costume that mm-hmm. night, you know? Yeah. So that's actually kind of cool. And I didn't yeah. think about it until she got all what butthurt about us changing yeah. our mind like, about the like, costumes. I'm not feeling it. I'm canceling it. She's like, mm, I guess I'm not coming then. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess the oh. costumes are still a thing yeah. then. Come yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, come on. <laughs> Never mind then. Please wear your costumes, guys. Yeah, wear your and costumes. Be, creative. be elaborate and creative mm-hmm. and fun. I mean, spray paint a box. Be a robot. But be warm. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. So try and keep that in mind. <laughs> Nothing weird, you know. Mm. Well, I mean, be weird. I Nothing didn't, weird. I didn't mean to say that word. 
Sorry. You know where you nothing, at? Nothing. You know where you is? Nothing that's going to cause you suffering. This is commercial suffering. center. The yeah. green door's you know right there. I mean? If it's, if, yeah, the it's probably going to be inappropriate because it's going to cause you suffering. <laughs> exactly. Just be appropriate. Yeah. Just, you know, it's cold outside. There's going to be kids here too, please. I got told my costume ideas Keep too. Keep that in mind. Scary. Outside. You can be scary. What's scary? I want to be Krumpus. Oh. Do it. Yeah, but you said it was too scary. It's, I said it's scary. I didn't say it's too scary. Oh. I just said that's scary. I saw this dope crum- Krumpus mask. It's probably too late to order. Oh, man, it was cool. I wonder. I hope I can rent one. I don't even know what I'm going to be. Mm. What are you going to be, Sadie? I have no idea. JR, what are you mm. going to be? A hippie. I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can't be a hippie. You can't be a hippie. That's out. <laughs> yeah, none of us are allowed to be that's a hippie. Out. Unless you're being JR. a specific what? hippie. You could be a hippie because you yeah, don't look like a hippie. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. you. Maybe I'll just like a girl hippie. But you are a hippie. There you go. That's what's funny. I can be a girl hippie. <laughs> no, because you always you, you you look better in a dress than me. I don't want people, <laughs> I don't I don't want people to know that. <laughs> that would be knowing hilarious. and seeing are two different. Do it. I can't do. Oh. They're gonna I, invite you to the sisterhood. At least hippies wear flats. Oh, oh. oh. that'd be amazing. <laughs> the sisterhoods who uh, originated the from it. So the sisters. Go the sisters. <laughs> well, let's talk about handcrafty first. Okay. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a this is a handcrafty reggae event with Stan Radikin. Headlining, he was he is the original Las Vegas Rastafarian. Like he is the OG. Been here for thirty. Thirty years. years. Thirty two years. Yeah. Making business, ma- doing business with what he loves, which is spreading the Rastafarian message and selling the clothing and making music. Yeah, he had his he had the first Jamaican shop in Las mm-hmm. Vegas. Number one. Um, he on the strip. He hosts. I've been there. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. really cool. Well, actually, I just put the dots together when we met. Yeah, who he it is? It was like six years ago. I oh yeah. With my dad and he just closed it too he bought oh, earrings he? for my mom i think yeah. there and he gave my dad the radio station and they totally talked it up and then he had oh, a show that up. night and was like you guys should come we were wow. like, really cold you know <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up not going but yeah i, I know who that guy is it's yeah, pretty cool, cool. Yeah, yeah nice guy right yeah totally yeah rink and tea you can find him everywhere and yeah so they're playing yeah they're playing so handcrafted he's putting on this awesome concert yeah. festival event yeah. where there's going to be a ton of vendors in our in mm-hmm. new orleans square the whole yeah. quad is going to be full we of got tables. vendors yo <laughs> we're going to have you know music happening all day not yes. just reggae but a lot singer, of singer songwriter D- we got dj j Ryder. that's right <laughs> we're we're working on um <laughs> we're, we're actually working on getting the violin school involved and hopefully yeah. getting some kids out here playing some violins yeah, and yeah. cellos cool. and stuff wouldn't that be neat mm-hmm. um what else oh we have music instructors next door they potentially may be doing something now uh, you know we just got to make sure we're not stepping on anybody's toes right. you know well the whole point too is for us to collaborate with all of our neighbors so mm-hmm. that we're not stepping on toes we're yeah. all working together to make like this a community? amazing a little business community like a business community what mm-hmm. yeah like a business community you damn communist people need to understand we are in new orleans square yeah. which is a no. part of commercial center yeah yeah, so it's called NOS, NOS, NOS on the sign. You'll see them on on all the marquee signs yeah. around Commercial Center. And we, we are on the we're on north Karen. side. We're on Karen's side. South side. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the Karen side now. We're, we're on the north side. We're on the inside si- of the parking lot. Inside of the parking lot. So we're, we're on the inside north side of the of square. North, north square. <laughs> we're on the inside of the yeah. square. Inside of the square. Uh, on Karen. North side of Nos. <laughs> north side of Nos. <laughs> okay. South side so of. So yeah, Forget it. Mm. <laughs> we'll put a map up. It's ridiculous, confusing, but basically, guys, We're when, you park, yeah. when you park on the Karen side, keep in mind you're gonna have to walk through the quad to mm. the other side other of the side. building to get to our suite because yep. we are on the other side of the building. The big parking so. lot to the side. There's parking lot. Gigantic you can go swimming parking there, lot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If you swimming. don't park yeah. on Karen, <laughs> go into you commercial can put a pool center park. I mean, you can, but I mean, we, put a pool out we should mm. at some point. Summertime. At some point, we need a pool in the parking lot. That'd we'll call awesome. it the parking lot pool. <laughs> yeah. I can you imagine the people that are going to be oh in god. it? Oh god. We can have a parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> a port. A Who's going to clean it? I'm not. Not I it. Not, not it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun? I have Randall oh. for that. Wouldn't you it can help us out. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to do that for Randall. I'm not making Randall but do that. Wouldn't it be funny one day to one of those. A, like four foot above ground pools, fill it up overnight and just leave it there and just never just take credit for it and just see what happens with that pool. Social just have experiment. A, just we have a camera it. pointing at it. Yeah, a just few. see what happens uh, with that pool. Out here? In our yeah, out here yeah. in the summertime in the parking lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. oh no. It's happening. I already saw it. I don't, we don't need to do it. I've already seen it look in away, my mind. Look away. <laughs> Good gravy. Awesome. So no, let's fucking do it. Fuck it. Yeah. Overnight. It'll keep them cool. Yeah. 
Um, if, we, if we had the money too, we could have somebody build it overnight with a deck and everything. Just <laughs> nice, <laughs> just nice <laughs> lawn chair, Show up lounge the chairs. Dude, there's a pool in the parking That's gonna lot. That's going to be hard to do. There's a lot of cops here at night. I know. I'm just, it would be funny. Yeah. We can dream. Mm hmm. <laughs> dream. Anyway. But the 30th, so Handcraft is going to have all that. We are going to have the Tribe Drum Circle. We are going to have DJ J Ryder. Are you still going by that? I cringe every time. What? Did you actually ever go by that? You did, huh? You did. <laughs> you don't did you like go? It. Did you like in the middle of your set go DJ D Ryder? No, DJ D D. It, it wasn't just DJ. J, oh. It was just J Ryder. J Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> what do you go by then if it's not that? J R. Just J R. Junior. DJ J R. No. DJ J R. That's funny. We <laughs> should do that. We'll just do DJ D J R. DJ R. DJ R. DJ R. They do that. So he's playing. Who's that? Uh, DJ R T D T. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Paul Cologne, <laughs> singer songwriter, is going to be performing right in here. We're we're uh, we're working on a couple other acts, but yeah. it's going to be awesome, man. When people are coming by, people are asking to perform. Oh, I'll do it with you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, hopefully Ian stops by. He said he will, but that guy. He needs to pick up his. He mic needs. To, yeah. Cord. Yeah. And his set list it's <laughs> it's in the. <laughs> so we've now designated the lost and found. So that happened today, which we is amazing. Because we didn't know we'd ever need one, but people leave stuff every time they come by. People are just leaving stuff. <laughs> <laughs> universe making them come back. Uh, yeah. yeah, totally. I'm like, was this donated? It's like leaving your jacket at a girl's house when you were in high school. Or, oh, yeah. God. Oh, I love my jacket. That was always my play. Mm-hmm. To come back? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'll bring it to you tomorrow. Damn no. it. <laughs> no, I'll just come it's back. Okay. Yo, I'll be right by. You know, is your dad home still, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to the 30th. <laughs> so, uh, Handcrafted, he's doing that, and that's also, you know, it's coinciding with our grand opening it was really funny mm-hmm. too when oral broke the news he's like so i think i think i'm gonna have a an event i'm thinking of having an event and i i, I got in touch with this reggae guy he's mm-hmm. gonna come sing probably maybe yes. and i'm like oh that sounds amazing what can we do to help i want to help let's let's collaborate let's do this yeah yeah you know, he goes, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it on the 30th. That's the only time he's available. And I'm like, Oral, that's our no grand opening. Wait. He goes, what? <laughs> like, so you know, it was like one of those validation moments again. Like yeah. here, you know, <sighs> it's funny how everybody's yeah. minds are on the same path. We're even yeah. on the same timeline. So yeah. with that you said, know? though, there's like two other shops besides. Are having, having a grand, grand opening, opening here at Nos. What, here at Nos. What is going so, on? So it's on. New it's going to be, baby. Yeah, New Year's, New Year's Eve, Eve. We're in here. Saturday. We're doing it. Come to New Orleans Happy Square <laughs> and hang out with Happy Earth Market, Handcraftedy Sisters, and I forget who the fourth grand opening person is, but. Samantha French, a.k.a. Come hang out. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. We're going to be here from 11 until. Probably 11. Mm-hmm. That's my guesstimate. Um, yeah. All the band and the, the, hey, and the booths and stuff the are happening until 4 o'clock. For those people who get an invite, there will be an after party to this thing. Okay, yeah. It will happen somewhere, and we're going to do it up. A little after party. We may do it right there at Las Vegas Lounge and have a drink before we go home. Cool beans. Or two. Um, oh, cool. So, yeah, so the daytime <laughs> event is happening until 4 o'clock when yeah. all the booths are outside, or until 6, probably. Until 6, yeah, We'll that's probably have a few vendors still hanging out there a couple we have more one, hours. We have one food truck right now, which is 50 Shades of Green, all organic, mm-hmm. all farm to table. Most of their food's local here in town. Amazing. And, and they'll be here for three hours. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Uh, Oral's working on getting the Caribbean food truck. I'm not sure the name of yes, that one. Yes, and I know the guy. I forget his name. Try the jerk rice. Mm-hmm. Oh, he has, he has a vegan jerk rice that'll blow your socks off. It's num nums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> my socks. <laughs> well, it's prepare cool. to yeah. lose them, sir, because <laughs> this rice is amazing. Yeah, so <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time, guys. So so please come out on the 30th. Yes. And hang out. Tell a friend. Share Tell on a Facebook. Friend. <laughs> come ha- not just hang out. Come be a member. Mm-hmm. Um, please. I'm, I I can't stress yeah. it. I I can't stress it enough. If here. you like this space, if you love it here, become mm-hmm. a member. Even yeah. if you you know if we need we we've need your membership. We've made it inexpensive so that we can all contribute. That's right. You know. So let's do this, people. I love you. We've created this space for you. Yeah, for you. And and you guys are using it, and I'm so fucking happy that you're using it for yes. what it's intended for i'm yeah. beside myself and excited and joyful and so uh grateful to everybody who has participated and contributed and i just yeah can't say enough yeah, you guys are absolutely. all amazing i love you 
all. That's all you got? Yeah, no, I'm, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm actually done. But you guys go. No, 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 no. I'll contribute. I'm excited because I didn't <laughs> want this to be. I didn't want this to be longer an hour. Mm-hmm. We're right at fifty. Perfect. Nice. Love and light. Cool Love thing. and light. Love and light. Yay. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Now listen to this. And now listen to this.